I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Latitude 707440. The service tag number for this one is an B8RHFY3. The regulatory model is a P174G and this is a 2023 uh, laptop version. And in this video, I'm going to cover up uh, because I get lots of questions. People asking me, how can I upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM? And I keep telling them that you cannot remove them and they're like, they, can you show us? So I'm going to open it up and show it to you guys. Before I power it on and open it up, you're going to look at the task manager, see what it says. Inside the task manager, if you go to performance, under the memory, we can see this one has a 32 gig RAM installed on the board. But it here says uh, slot, RAM is slot 8 out of 8, but obviously there's no RAM 8 slot available. And people are like, oh, mine it says 2 out of 4, 4 out of 1, 1 out of 4. But that doesn't matter whatever the window says in here, physically is not installed on this one. The RAMs are soldered on the board. If you purchase a 16 gig version, you stuck with a 16 gig version. If you purchase a 32 gig version, you is stuck with a 32 gig version. All right. So I'm going to power it down. I'm going to be going to open it up and show it to you guys. So let's turn off, power it off. When you power off, I hold down shift, shift. And so that way it will shut down completely. And wait a few seconds. Once it's powered off, we are going to close the screen. We're going to flip it upside down. And right here on the bottom, we're going to see a few screws. There's no hidden screws in here. So we're gonna grab our top, our good screwdriver set. I'll be using iFix screwdriver set as I love these screwdrivers. They are really good. We're gonna use a Phillips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get a basic set like me. I'll leave the link in the video description. For the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. So with these two on hand, we're gonna get started. All right. Down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws, the one in the middle, back mid, and on the sides. So we're gonna remove the, unscrew them, and all the screws have a little C-lock that will prevent the screw coming out entirely, so all you need to do is to rotate the screw until it becomes really this, like loose like that. You don't need to pull it out entirely, just leave it like that. You wanna do this to all of them, so make sure it's just really loose, and so you're going to open it after that. So I'm going to fast forward this part and unscrew them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. Appreciate that. Now that we have unscrewed all of the screws down here, we're going to start from one corner in the back. We're going to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and in there about one or two millimeters and we're going to hear those big click sound. That's what you want to hear. All right. Now we're going to work on the back side on the grill here. We're going to stick it in there and we're going to twist it the back way like this. Gently stick it in there. And you want to hear those click sounds. So that the clips are getting loose. So once you do the back side, go to the corner. And there we have it. Now that we have the back corners in the back mid, just going to lift up like a wiggle around a little bit. If yours is still really sticky, do the sides too, if you need to. And bring it up and lift up the bottom one. The bottom hinges will get unstuck. Alright, so down here we can see the motherboard and right away I can see the RAM dims right in here. There's one, two, three, four RAM chips in here. And there's a four RAM chip on the other side of this board. So I don't know how many of them it is. So let's do a little math. So it has a 32 gig. So pretty much each one of them is an eight gig uh, RAM chips in here. So there's an eight gig in here, eight, 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 four eights, and four eights is on the other side. So that's the reason you cannot solder or put any more RAM on the board. But the RAM, they do come like this and there's no RAM slot or anything to plug this one in there. So that's why you're stuck with whatever you purchase. All right, now that we covered that up, uh, simply what we're gonna do, we're gonna just grab this bottom cover, put it right on top, 
and squeeze the front end in 45 degree angle a little bit. Make sure it clicks in. There we go. You want to push it down and you will click in on the sides. In the back, you want to pinch them together and it will just snap to its place. And then to finish it off, you just tighten up the screws and that should power up today's video. And that's why I hope this video helped you guys to understand why you can't upgrade the RAM for your their laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.